Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, it is. How are you, Mark? I am well. Yes, indeed. Good. Just, just enjoying the cool, damp morning and yeah, yeah. You leaves know, falling and yes, yeah, yes, it is that, cool. That you you get that smell of fall in the air when mm-hmm. you get enough leaves on the ground. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. Did you go trick or treating last night? I did not. <laughs> I did not. That's I had too bad. sessions till a little bit later, so oh. I had my own form of treating, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Treatment. <laughs> try not to try not to no 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 tricks. No no, no tricks. Yeah. That's good. But yeah. Yeah. We we went and did a little bit of trick or treating. Good for you. Yeah. Did you dress up? Uh <laughs> me and my wife got out our old letter jackets from high school wow yeah and uh our jerseys from high school our basketball jerseys we had that wow. snap. She, i don't know where she pulled that out that's so cool we uh went as our high school selves nice <laughs> yeah. yeah your hair is a little bit short for your high school self isn't it huh? uh d- yes probably yeah. probably yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. understood but that's yeah. all right i'm more beardy too yeah and yeah huh but yeah, so that was that was fun. I think I think my my last Letterman's jacket went with the last move. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah, I don't think I officially have yeah. a Letterman's jacket anymore. That's yeah. too bad. It probably yeah. was a cool one. Uh, it was it was uh it wasn't one of the classic ones with like with the leather sleeves. Oh they really? Changed, they changed that about two years before I got. So it was just kind of a yeah hmm. yeah. It was okay, but yeah yeah. It wasn't the old old school leather and wool, leather sleeves with the wool yeah. middle. Yeah. yeah, ours here. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can now uh, just imagine it. You're gonna have to link it now. <laughs> you know. You're gonna have to there link go. it. Oh, I also got a horse head mask. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys had the classic. Yep. Letterman's jacket yep, the still. Blue wool and the white. Leather. Yeah, yeah. No, we were uh, the Trojans, so it was kind of a more of a maroon okay. wool. Yep. But yeah, we no, were, that's... we were the Patriots. Nice. Yep. Nice, nice. You'll have to link that with your horse head on there. Yeah, I yeah. will. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good picture. So yeah. Welcome to How I See It with me, Mark Pratt, and Justin Sternberg. This is a podcast that works to counter cultural polarization through thoughtful conversations. Uh, yeah, so Halloween. Um, you know, you said I am well. Sometimes I say, oh, that's good. And I want to say, oh, that's well. And I'm like, no, that's not right. <laughs> Because, you know, you're supposed to say, I'm well, not I'm good. Yes. And I I think I've gotten that habit down pretty good. Yeah. But sometimes I still overthink the response. That's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Mark. Well, thanks. And I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you still fit in your Leatherman's jacket. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. It actually has always been a little too big for me, so. Oh, so now it fits? No, it's still too big. It's still too big. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's good too. Yeah. That, and that, Megan that used to wear it. Oh yeah, so it was really big on her. Did you wear hers too? Did you guys <laughs> like do that dating thing where you exchange rings? You just exchange Letterman's jacket. We did not. I couldn't uh, fit in hers. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. sure I put it on as a joke once or twice, but I hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. So speaking of high school, high school. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Oof. 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 How was your? Uh, <clears throat> Tell me about your high school, Mark. How how was your level of your uh, let's say the continuum between humility and pride, and or maybe speak a little bit to how you your sense of self esteem or self confidence. Mm. You know how how that how did you feel about yourself in high school? Wow. Um, thinking about that leather. Yeah, leather, thinking leather about jacket. that. Um, hmm. That's a good, that's a good, the, the leather, the letterman's jacket. I, I just did track. I'll be okay. honest. I did track just for the sake of getting a letterman's jacket. Oh, nice. So it wasn't like I was so a. So letterman jackets were pretty legit deal for your. Yeah. I just wanted a letter. Too. So I, like you say, I yeah, did, yeah, 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 I did yeah. track my like uh, junior, senior year. 
uh, played basketball, you know, in grade school up through till junior high, Mm -hmm. that kind of thing, you know, um, just, just didn't really like the pressure that went along with basketball. Speaking of that, you know, and I didn't like to dribble. I wasn't, (laughs) I wasn't a tremendous dribbler. I was a great, a good shooter because of the, like the basketball court across from our house. I'd just go over there and shoot, but I, yeah. I'd pass off the ball as soon as I could. So that's, that's where that, that's where that self-confidence piece kind of comes to my mind. You know, it's like basketball wasn't my thing, but, um, and then track, I, (laughs) I did all the field events, shot, put discus and javelin. I wasn't, you know, I didn't, uh, yeah. Uh, do the sprinting. I sprinted very little, like say, it's kind of surprising because you, I definitely think of you as a runner. I I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe even I sprinter. probably could have done okay in distance hmm. type yeah. things, you know, distance events. But uh, I definitely wasn't as fast as the sprinters on our team type stuff. Okay, you know, I would have had to have done a fifty yard to do anything. Yeah, yeah. But um, and then I, <laughs> my English teacher kind of comes to mind. Hmm. She uh, she would routinely say, Mark, you're either going to be, you know, president or you're going to be a used car salesman, you know, and I she had that. She she well, she was wrong because you're <laughs> neither. <laughs> but Just show I, her <laughs> ba- based on and I think based on what she saw me, she she saw me as someone who tended to be very gregarious. Mm-hmm. You know, and I nef- definitely never was at a loss well, for words to be able to speak, you know, in front of people and even persuade people at yeah. times. So that was, it was, it was kind of shy, yeah. right? No, yeah. I would have been anything but shy. Yeah. What grade was she? In- she would have been, well, I probably had her twice, you know, you know, based on, you know, lit or, you know, like a literature type thing. And then, you know, like another form of like uh, mythology or something like that you know like but definitely high school yeah definitely yeah. high school Cut. definitely high school yeah to where that um i was definitely i wasn't you know the jock i wasn't the geek you mm-hmm. know i was just kind of there was back then it seemed like there was a middle of the ground type person there was yeah there i wasn't was. a, i wasn't a you know what what Voag, you know, I wasn't an Aggie, you know, FFA, are you familiar? Oh, Future Farmers of America, oh, okay. you know, uh, agri- yeah, Voag, yeah. you know, I, I said, agriculture, yeah, to where I could say, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, you weren't with the, the farmer nerds, right, exactly, and I right. wasn't with the computer nerds or geeks, right. you know, that kind of thing, I wasn't, uh, you know, a, a jock by mm-hmm. any means, and I wasn't, you know, you weren't punk rock. Or I wasn't, you know, I wasn't goth. goth. I wasn't punk, punk rock. Yeah. I was really kind of middle of the road. Yeah. It's, it's funny as I think about it, it's, it's really, I'm still who I am yeah. today in some ways based on that. It's yeah. like, I can just kind of flow in between yeah. and around. It's not like I'm, you yeah. know, on one continuum yeah. or the other. Short of short of hopefully being a Christian, that part, you know, but still even my, you know, views allow me to kind of intermingle yeah. as as best I can, you so know. To me, that speaks to some inner confidence, but, you know, I could be reading wrong. So yeah, I, I think in some ways it, if anything, it, it, uh-huh, it speaks to my extroversion. I like being around people. Hmm. And, you know, and that was another, you know, I think not that I was a party party person, but it was, you know, more than once there was the, uh, the, the conversation that had, you know, things started when I showed up, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And, and I'm not saying that in an arrogant manner, but I think it was just a way, you know, that I do like people. I, you know, interact with people and, you know, it just kind of changed the atmosphere mm. at, at points, but. Yeah. But I guess that's kind of what I mean too is when you know you have that kind of a effect on people. Yeah, I mean I, think I would that hear... can bring some inner sense of just an I'm okayness at least. Yeah. If not there's a, an I'm, I'm pretty I'm okay. coolness. Yeah, <laughs> right? there's a I wouldn't say that I wouldn't have said that I was thinking I was the life of the party. 
Gotcha. In that mindset, it, you know, it's like, eh, I'm glad. But, you know, yeah, I just didn't have that. It wasn't an arrogance that I saw. And it was it always seemed weird. But I'm just referring back to yeah. what people would say. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. The where and I, I think more so high school was better than, you know, like middle school or junior high type stuff, you know. Hmm. Yeah, some of the some of the identity stuff was a little more solidified. And we'd had that was I, I think I mentioned it in um and when we talked about um arms, what what, what, what gun control. Hmm. You yeah. know, I we did the sportsman's club. Yeah. You know, when we yeah. could actually bring guns to school. And yeah. I did I did lead the sportsman's club, you know, in that kind of thing. So hmm. yeah, I mean I had some leadership roles and you know, outside of school, even like 4-H and so forth. So where, yeah, I think I had a sel- a healthy self-esteem, self-confidence type thing. Not, uh, not yeah. Yeah. So but there is in a, that continuum. Yeah. I was going to say there is a continuum in your perspective. Of I would say health, I would healthiness. be middle of the ground. I wouldn't necessarily say maybe middle to, uh, towards, um, I, and I'd say middle to gregarious, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I, and I think there's a point at the, at one end where you can be arrogant. It's all about me mm-hmm. and we have to do it my way. I wouldn't see myself as that far, mm-hmm. you know, if that's a hundred percent, I'd say I was about 75 maybe. Mm-hmm. And yet, um, it, I, it wasn't something that I was definitely on the low end. I didn't have a problem, you know, talking with anybody, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. Because I never saw, you know, mm. I guess I never saw that kind of difference. Yeah. I think when you're at that hundred percent, you can kind of have a, maybe a hierarchical yeah, look yeah. on things. I'm not one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I, I I can't say as if I ever saw Hmm. them so much. It's like, oh, that's Lori, that's Joe, you know, that kind of thing. It wasn't that I had arrived and that other person hadn't Mm -hmm. arrived. Yeah, so a big thing that can impact our level of self-esteem slash self-confidence is comparison, right? Oh, sure. It sounds like you weren't, that wasn't a major thought activity in your brain as, as far as like, comparison or yeah you know, how's Betty compared to me or Bob or yeah <laughs> Joe I, or I can and it, it was it's funny because you know as uh, for me I can remember you know looking back um you know how different people chose different paths yeah you know from from the kids that I went to elementary school with you know you take what 20 kids Yeah. You take 20 kids that you start elementary school with and roughly, you know, 15 of those are still going to be in high school with you. And it's funny. I looking back, I can remember, you know, those that went with the party. It's like, huh, that's a change. That's different, you know. But I remember when, you know, he was, you know, Billy or she was Lori, you know, And, and I it's funny. Just yeah. Yeah, you think about you think about who people are and you see who they develop into. And maybe it's a part of it for me too. I just I was always intrigued by people. You know, cuz yeah. the I'll I'll say that the kid that kind of became the, you know, the jock person, I can still remember when, you know, the girl in in grades in elementary was faster than he was yeah you know that early stage when you yeah. know girls are ju- you know guys haven't come into their yeah, development yeah. and girls are just as fast <laughs> yeah that always that was always a funny thing for me looking back it's like <laughs> yeah you think you're something but i can still remember when she was faster than you That's right. you know that kind of thing it's just yeah nice yeah nice. those memories yeah for sure so com- again, comparison wasn't a huge uh, issue for you in your life. Not a, not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, cause I think too, that's partly what maybe drives people into their categories. Is sure. Like, well, well, you, you know. Well, and I think, I think categories, when we think about categories, you know, w- regardless, I think it's finding people that are like me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm willing to recognize, you know, um, 
there was there there probably were a lot of people like me in that middle group but it's like that that was just part of my my thing it's like i wasn't that person i wasn't that person so i was okay where i was yeah. and you felt that kind of inner sense of identity at that point or you look back and reflect on that like when you were in high school did you feel like yeah i'm i'm right square in the middle of all this and i'm happy with that or i i don't think i ever looked at the fact that i was right square in the middle i definitely remember reflecting on the fact that i wasn't part of a group yeah you know was that a sad thing not so much okay you know i i you know it just and it, and I think because you didn't feel kicked out of the groups, no. Uh, uh-uh. and like you say, I that was my thing or part of my thinking. You know, it's like I recognized I had friends in those groups. Yeah, you know, and yeah. so when I was in this class, I just was with those friends, and when I was in this class, I was with those friends. Yeah. You know, and hmm. I, I think I, yeah. I mean, yeah, I probably had, well. I probably might have had like five core guy friends, you know, and then for every group. Well, (laughs) not quite. And I would say in some ways they were very similar to me, Hmm. you know, just, yeah. Looking back, you know, on those, on those friends. Yeah, they were, they were very similar. Some, you know, but you know, like you're saying, maybe a little more, each one of them was kind of a little more towards a group, Mm -hmm. but not necessarily completely immersed Mm -hmm. to where they were kind of a fringier person in that group, you know, and that's what kind of, we kind of gravitated towards. I mean, yeah, because out of those five guys, you know, two only two did i go to grade school with hmm. yeah yep just just looking back yeah yeah it's it, it's very interesting it kind of solidifies what, I, what what we all already knew is that you're sort of an enigma mark <laughs> <laughs> that's fair Maybe. that's fair um yeah i feel like man it's hard to fight the tide of uh identity when mm. you're in that age Sure. Because of the lack of self confidence, self esteem, which we should define the two of those things. But um, yeah, go ahead. So therefore, I'm you, curious to see yeah. how you define those two. Sure, I will. In just a second, or I'll try. Okay. Uh, but you know, like, and so you, I feel like you, the tide, right? That gravity, that mm-hmm. that pull of like, I need to identify somewhere. Therefore, you float. You know, you you gravitate towards the thing that maybe you feel like you are the best, most likely to fit. Into sure. and yeah, the closest to me type stuff. Yeah. yeah, and again, you do that through comparison. Well, that person's better at art than than I am, even though I mm. like art. But I I can't compete with them, so maybe um. But I can run faster than this person, so maybe track or whatever. You yeah, know, yeah. And, or you know, I really like basketball or whatever it is. You know. Yeah. And yeah, again, I think the the tide is that comparison of like you're always kind of doing the math. You yeah, know, the 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 calculations of where am I fitting and how where do I fit best and how do I find a place here? Yep. And I just, I mean, your story feels like it's lacking in all those juicy details, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's kind of a pretty standard uh, struggle for identity in in high school. What do you think? Yeah, no, and I I, I was thinking about it as far as. Uh, I think there was a part of me, I, and I can recall just growing up, I was always more comfortable with older people. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm thinking about it from an identity standpoint, you know, by God's grace, I had a lot of great mentors, mm-hmm. you know, that were basically, you know, building into me, you know, mm-hmm. that I was comfortable interacting with on a, you know, daily, if not weekly basis, you know, through you, through activities and stuff like that. Just some really great role models. Yeah. You know, especially, especially in the, in a male dynamic, mm-hmm. you know, um, yeah. some of those, some of them has, you know, have even passed away, you know, in the meantime, but I still, some of them are still alive, that kind of thing. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think that was, that was influential for me and yeah, there's, yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, that, I mean, that sounds amazing to have, you know, multiple 
hmm. mentoring male relationships or if you're a woman and female, but like kind of sure. that. Um, it doesn't seem like that's super common. No, I hear you. Anymore. Yeah. And I think about even like, well, even like John, your son, he's a mm. youth leader. Or, you know, he's one of the leaders sure. at youth and he influences, he's, he's able to have some influence with young boys and stuff. And, you know, I've, I've heard him talk about that and that's, that's amazing. And I think we, that's definitely a thing, but it's like, it seems like there's still a separation culturally now that doesn't quite an, allow the same level of intimacy in terms of mentorship and, mm. all right, Johnny, that's not like you, you shouldn't be doing that. You know, like right. you never speak to someone in a way that's like, you're going to, I know you'll listen to me because we have this. Sure. You know, this type of relationship. It's right. It feels like, um, like that's not really a welcome type of it. Like the, it's not conducive to that kind of relationship. The culturally. Way, culturally. Yeah. The sure. Way, you know, it's, it's more. Yeah. Um, and maybe part of that, you know, sadly is tied to, um, you know, pedophilia. Yep. Like the, the, just the, the struggles of previous generations yep. and we've put up boundaries and blocks and stuff to try and help with that. And I think maybe that's one of the side effects is that it's cut off some potential opportunities for intimacy no with doubt. mentor relationships that, you know, is yep. quote unquote inappropriate now. If we have an have older that. guy hanging out with a younger guy, there might, there's probably an, a concern. Yeah. There. There's a like, yep. mm, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Where, so I don't know. That's uh I don't know. They, it definitely gives me a sense of like, man, what a loss. Yeah. You know, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And I think, and I, and I will say too, I think, you know, um, when we look, when I look around now, you know, to the certain degree of, uh, male involvement, even in leadership roles in, in our church, even, you know, to a degree, I think a lot of that has been adopted by, you know, women, by God's grace who have stepped up into leadership roles because of the male vacuum yeah. to a certain degree. You know, I don't, um, I just, when I look back, I, I think about how, you know, men tended to be more involved in church, you know, um, office offices, you know, like, like Sunday school leaders, you know, Sunday yeah. school teachers. It wasn't just, you know, ladies, you know, teaching Sunday school or taking care of the babies, you know, there was guys in that role too, hmm. you know, that kind of thing. And I think that was, that was beneficial, especially when I think about, you know, who it was, the, the people that were influencing me at hmm. that point, it was, you know, my second grade Sunday school teacher, my junior high, senior high Sunday school teacher, that hmm. kind of thing, hmm. you know, for me, and then just other people, you know, definitely my own father had an influence in that too, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was just, mm. yeah. Yeah. What about for you? I'm uh, I, where, where would you have found yourself on that continuum? Um, yeah, my, my, I feel like I probably talked about my stuff uh, a lot in previous episodes, but generally I would say lacking in self-confidence, but projecting self-confidence. So, okay. um, in middle school, elementary school I was just a kid I didn't think about really um mm -hmm. comparison and then about middle school I started really thinking about comparison mm -hmm. and like oh that person's better than me and everything right like I and that's that's the problem with comparison you can always find someone better um, in no any doubt. given moment and you're comparing someone's highlight reels to your worst moments and that's just mm -hmm. you know whatever so I started doing that and that became I mean I call I would even say like an obsession, maybe okay. I, just the way I think about it, where I was always just sizing myself up compared to others. I didn't have a gauge hmm. based on some sort of, like you were saying, a mental relationship to say, to speak truth into that. So I was just, I was left to my own figuring it out. Like, sure. where do I land in, in this world, you know? Mm -hmm. And the only way you figure that is, well, well, look at this person. Am I, do I measure up to that person? No, because they do this. Do I measure up? Nope, because they do that, right? Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. you know, being middle school to early high school, you don't have the proper brains to say, yeah, but they also do that bad thing, which you don't do, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you know, okay. so you, you just... Unable to create balance. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that created a vacuum of, you know, or I should say a deficit of okay. confidence to just like, yeah, I just don't measure up. You know, yeah. so anytime I would find a vein where I felt like I uh, was, 
you know, better than those in the room, whatever mm. environment I was in. You know, I think I would really try and latch on to that or whatever. And and so that, that would led me to different sports. And But even those, you know, I, I was never that great. I was I gotcha. just good. And I tried really hard to be great. But Were you a jock? Um, the, here's the thing. I went to a very small <laughs> uh-huh. Christian school, so... Were you uh, the jock? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the joke. But uh, it, pretty much everyone contributed in every, you I gotcha. know, activity. I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot. Right. A lot of us just kind of did all the things. So sure. I was in the plays. Yeah. And I was okay. in the sports. I played so soccer. I played basketball. I did. Yep. Theater. I did. Um, the wow. singing groups. Wow. And Megan was in all. Of, Megan did volleyball. She did basketball. She did play. She sure. did singing groups. Um. So, so like go your ahead. group depended on the day or the yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there were, was certainly you were a goth during the theater season. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> there <laughs> no, were certainly cool. some small pockets of people that didn't go to this thing or didn't do that thing. But sure. for the most part, wow. a large majority of us did a lot of the things or that's all, neat. all of the things. Yeah, it is neat. It yeah. absolutely is neat. Um, which I think helped I think if I would have been in a traditional high school environment, just based on mm-hmm. who I was and looking back, mm-hmm. I think I probably would have flailed. I think I would have okay. either found the wrong crowd, whether it was the jocks mm. or whatever, and really identified and tried to like climb the top of that. I got you. But I honestly don't think I had enough confidence to do that. So I think I would have just become depressed and been one of the, Oh wow! I don't know. The outlier groups are, yeah. you know, alone or I, I honestly don't know. I just don't think I, I really don't feel like I would have done that well, but I, I yeah. can't, I can't say no, that. I, I can't you. speak to that because I wasn't in that environment. Just cu- to, to put that to scale, what was your graduating class? I mean, how many people mm-hmm. did you graduate with? I want to say five. Oh, wow. One, two, three. <laughs> Or five. Yes. You graduated with the same number of Korg friends that I had that's in right, high school. That's right. Yes. Wow. That's yes. cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's neat. Yeah. Yep. So, so you know, wow. that's, 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 yeah, the that size. puts it in yeah. perspective. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Very small. You guys, you guys had to all work together. That's right. That's to get right. a team yeah. on soccer field yeah. or, yeah. Soccer, we actually joined with another Christian school. Oh, I was going to uh, so say. it was a combined effort to produce the size of well, a that's regular what, soccer yeah. team. Because it's like with yeah. five guys, you, you, your senior class yeah. would graduate and it's like, yeah. oh, another build, rebuilding Correct. year. You Correct. know, it's like, oh, yep. we, we just lost our whole senior class. Crew right. and half the team, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. No, oh. and uh, I started playing on the high school team in sixth grade, so that gives you an idea of like wow. the pool, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, you had to start pulling in from sixth grade, and I actually played in a couple games in sixth grade, like you know, oh, for sure. a minute or whatever. But yeah, the yeah. point is, like, you know, they needed to sub, and yeah, all right, get you, in there, Justin. You, you had a heartbeat, don't get hurt. <laughs> 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 I remember I did something, and <laughs> I can't remember the story exactly or exactly what happened but uh in practice yeah i ended up i think giving a bl- bloody nose to the senior oh wow <laughs> wow <laughs> and i never lived it down i mean it was kind of a funny thing but sure you know because you because you were out there as a sixth grader just kind of flailing and moving <laughs> right. your arms. And it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah he exactly. went blowing by about the time you picked up your hand. Probably, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. I could see it. I could see Pretty it. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But uh, put him in his place. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, I feel like that put me on the radar with him, though, because uh, you know wow. he he would joke with me after that. And, oh sure. Yeah. 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 And that that kind of infused just a little bit. That was part of it too. Is like you talked about older having a relationship with older. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were referring to adults, or but like yeah, I would try and jockey for uh, attention from older classmen. Sure. Just to kind of that helped me have some confidence, and typically yep. I had some friends that were a little bit older. Some uh, often too, it was girls, mm-hmm. um, girls a few grades higher than me, and just really you know enjoyed that, and yeah. that gave a sense of self confidence as well. But no, there's something to be said. I mean, <clears throat> John is probably more like you in that because he was mm-hmm. you know playing soccer at four. Yeah, you know, to where when he came on the high school team, you know, he was playing up you know yeah. he started yeah. you know and i and i remember you know similar conversations how you know 
be it good and be it bad in some ways, you know, those older kids, yeah. it gave him a little, his friendship with those older soccer yeah. players gave him a little more rite of passage. A little more cred. Yeah, street exa- cred. Yeah, exactly. School street cred. You know, yeah. to the point yeah. of, you know, you're not just, yeah. you're not just a freshman yeah. at that point. So yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, I, you know, again, our school was so small that mm-hmm. sixth graders, it wasn't that rare to have, com- you know, the older students kind of speaking to the younger ones because oh, yeah. there was that few people in the school and also it was a Christian school. So yeah. There's a little bit of you should be kind to your younger yeah, yeah. classmen kind of thing. There's, there's, there's more ability <laughs> to observe that interaction. Yeah, yeah. It's not 200 people you're watching yes. over. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, no, that's, that's, that's neat. It was neat. And we, because it was so small and we were involved in so many things, like I have so many good memories and a lot of, you know, a lot of good self-esteem boosters just by, um, so one of the things I really, in, in going back to the teasing apart self-esteem and self-confidence, I mm-hmm. guess, yeah. um, I heard this good thing on another podcast, um, from a guy who is an AA and he basically was saying what, um, the things that bring you self-esteem are esteemable acts, right? Mm. It's this idea of doing something that's esteemable okay. and, um, Basically, this idea of things that bring value, right, like okay. to to others and to yourself, and, and versus, um, you know, like a sports accomplishment maybe n- isn't necessary, like mm. uh, getting an MVP trophy or something. That's very individual. Right. That's still esteemable, though, wouldn't it yeah. be, from an affirmation? Or yeah. are you talking more about he, he's character? More, yes, more of a character, more of like a service-oriented type of esteem was kind okay. of what he was saying, esteemable acts. And so his whole point was, uh, you know, he was talking about in, in, in AA and recovery, mm-hmm. this idea of giving back and this is you regain a sense of who you are through these esteemable acts and you regain that sense of um, moral fiber, you know. Gotcha. Okay. Right. And you regain some integrity, right? Some integrity okay. through through those things. Um, all that to say, I was going to say, in high school, we did a, a lot of things that were very team-oriented. Like you said, everyone had to contribute, and you all kind of worked towards a goal, putting out that play or, you know, mm-hmm. playing in a championship or, or um, you know, musical competitions. It was very often team-oriented, and which felt very esteemable in a sense of like, mm-hmm. We did this together, and when you would accomplish something, it felt really good together. Um, however, if you did, you know, the other was true, too, uh, which was our basketball team was kind of mediocre. Hmm. And Did you, know, you have to share with the other school to get a basketball team together? We didn't. We had okay. enough to do basketball. Okay, yeah. cool. There was more interest in basketball, so okay. I think that helped. But, um, yeah, I mean, we were pretty good on paper, decent in, in yeah. our league, right? Because we yeah, played yeah. in a league of other small Christian schools. We I were gotcha. decent on paper, but like an actual output, I felt like we kind of were underwhelming. Hmm. And again, this is my memory. It could be, it might've been better than that. I tend to have a very jaded memory of it, <laughs> but I always felt like underwhelmed, hmm. or like I was underwhelming, I guess, uh, okay. in my own performance and and kind of all of us it just felt like we were always and i don't know i think that might have something to do with the coach right and the mm. coach basically indicating that like there wasn't a lot of praise or a lot of mm. good good jobs there was a lot of you didn't do the thing right you know so you would you if if you would have had a more encouraging coach do you think that would have changed the way your that would have changed your self esteem to I have that no point? idea I honestly don't. I'm like, just curious. I don't, I don't know I'm, how to I'm, peel I'm, that apart. If that no, makes no. sense, I I hear. Um, but it, from your perspective, it would have been possible or plausible that you could have been, you could have viewed yourself as more yes. influential had that encouragement been there. I that mean, affirmation, a, a positive affirmation. Yeah. Way to run, way to get up right. the, the court, Justin. Way to hustle. I nice th- shot. I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer in the sense that we all know and agree that encouragement can help push someone forward and yeah. discouragement can do the opposite. So for me, yeah, absolutely. If if 
I, I feel like if the, if I had a coach that was looking for the positives and trying to speak to that, that yeah. would have made a major impact in my life. Um, the big thing though is like, again, I wasn't getting a lot of, in you know, like uh, people speaking into my life to say to give me any kind of status indication. Mm. So I had to gather for myself, right? And okay. so like one of the major places where I would hear very regularly how I was doing very verbally was basketball. Sure. And it was kind of a negative, mm. you know, thing. And there was some positives in there. I'm not going to say it was all negative, but it just, my, especially my tr- uh, translation of the feedback I was getting well, was negative, if that makes sense. And sure. it, uh, that could have been um, a misread as well, based no, on my own thing. Mm. So, but, you know, and other things like um, grades, I did really well. I, you know, I was a good student, mm-hmm. you know, mostly straight A's kind of thing. And like that was empirical. So I was like, well, I'm, at least I'm good at that by sure. all measurements on paper. Like I'm one of the, I'm the best one in class. You know what I mean? So like, at least I have that. Yeah. You were it's best a, of the five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And typically, so that's another thing we would do um, two grades together. Okay. So like 11th and 12th grade, for instance, we were done together. So it was more like 10, but <laughs> I need <laughs> gotcha. a little more credit work. No, no, uh, it's good. Uh, but no, yeah. I mean, but even, yeah. Yeah. So grade wise, and then I would get those, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. So that, that, that thing was empirical and I could look at that and go, well, at least I'm good at that. And no, no one can argue with that because it's right here on paper and, you know, it's, okay. you know, so that was one area that wasn't subjective but um yeah so if you had to boil a definition of self-esteem down Mm. to less than 10 words Mm. what what would it be um is that one no it doesn't count (laughs) you better start counting oh you tell me when a does that count yeah uh acceptance and respect for self. Ah, now is that I'm not, fair? I'm, I'm, that was a good. That was a good. A good. Off that was the less than ten. So oh, I won't yes, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was at five or six. Yeah, I got a few more. Should I add some more? Notes? Well, you, you you had ten, <laughs> but I'm curious um, how you would describe that differently from self confidence, yeah. self esteem. Ten and, words. I'm not going to put you down. I, yeah, if you want to, uh, I mean, if you see it as a personal challenge, I'm good with that. <laughs> it's not as fun but, unless it's a challenge from Mark. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I got to make a game of things, that's you know? Right. <laughs> so let's do 10 words for confidence. Uh, an inert sense of ability and trust in self. Oh, I think you did it. Right at 10. <laughs> you didn't inner. see him. He was pulling on his fingers. I did. I, I, I didn't start at the very beginning, sure. so I had to catch up. Um, An inert. Yeah. So intrinsic. Yeah. Sense. Yeah. Of yeah. value. It, in, my in perception self. of it, self-confidence is almost like this thing that exists without reason. But, sure. I, but I don't think that's true. But it, it comes, it doesn't feel like it's an earned thing necessarily. So Because to me, that's arrogant. And that tips over to pride and arrogance when, it, when it's like, well, I earned this and I'm, I'm good, you know, versus like, I got this. So how are they the same and how are they different? Well, I think we've been using them interchangeably all uh-huh. morning. So they're definitely very much tied together. And I just. You think so? Well, to me, to okay. me, yeah, basically because they both seemed gone, <laughs> you know? Okay. Like I remember, so self-confidence, uh, for when me. When you say gone, looking back. Not there. How's that? Okay. Yeah. Um, then. Then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Compared to now. Self-confidence, I think about the free throw line in basketball. Okay. There was guys who said, I want to get fouled because I want to go to the free throw line because I want to do my part for the team. I'm going to sink those shots. Okay. I was the opposite. Don't foul you me. You just sink the shot. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> no, I just had no confidence that I was going to make the shot, okay. even though we would do hundreds and hundreds of free throws and just really get our okay. form down, and I really practiced it, and and I was in practice decent, you know. I would, huh. you know, my percentages were good, but in a game, and I don't even know what my stats were. I maybe I was fine stats wise. Sure, I felt like uh-huh. I was always going to let the team down, and I uh-huh. don't even remember if I did. I know that. So you were thinking. I know I didn't make some I needed to make, but that's true of every player, everywhere, sure. right? But I honestly, I don't know where my how my perception compares to reality I, I couldn't tell you yeah yeah but i can tell you my perception was that i let us down more than i should have or like you know that uh-huh. so uh, wow. so that's where when i think of self-confidence i think of the free throw line i think of that yes i'm we're gonna do this and if i don't make it it's not like well of course you didn't you wouldn't it's more like oh man that's so unlike me let me let me do hmm. the second one i'm gonna sink the second one to me that self-confidence does that make you. sense yeah 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 where self esteem i think more like more about walking through the halls and just not comparing and just thinking about mm. you know more of like um i don't know just appreciation for self like feeling confident feeling good you know it's funny i use the word confident right <laughs> yeah it was i was <laughs> that's what i mean it's kind of interchangeable for me but like this i like just a like for self Okay. It's like, I, I like myself. I'm okay with myself. And yeah, I'm not perfect. And yeah, I got flaws, but feeling pretty okay. You yeah. Know? Um, does that make sense? Yeah. I, li- I liked what you shared initially about esteem being more of a character mm-hmm. and confidence kind of building out of that mm-hmm. because I therefore can. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. My self-confidence, I think self-confidence puts a person out there based on a level of esteem. Yeah. The, the, All right. The, I got two words for you. Okay. For each. Self-esteem is I am. Okay. And self-confidence is I can. Okay. Man. Yeah. So Does that make I, sense? I am. Well, I'm going with I am. Because of course that's that's that. Don't tie it. That, to I, I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna tie it. I, I am uh, X. Like you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got you. But yeah. I I I because th- I think of God confidence right with okay. some with with these aspects as well. You know where does that confidence come from? Mm-hmm. Is it just alone in my ability? Mm-hmm. Therefore, I am. And I think, you know, that can be one end of the continuum that I am Mm -hmm. God and I don't need anybody Mm -hmm. else and I don't want anybody Mm -hmm. else, you know, Yep. or that other person or the other end can be, you know, I'm nothing, Mm -hmm. you know, and I need tremendously, Mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. I just, yeah, to where, but I'm hearing where you're coming from in the sense of I am here yeah i am present yeah when i think of a healthy individual i mean i i definitely think of like your story and just kind of how you describe like just a very it sounds very healthy and i don't know is that your perspective of your you know high school environment it's always, just, it's always hard for me to hear myself yeah. as a healthy person but like <laughs> is it uh but just like but, a a a good level of self-confidence and self-esteem like just enough, enough. You know, I'm not uh, saying uh, there's no limit or it's it's like there's a there's no cap. Yeah, I got you. The more the better. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like there's a there's a excuse me. That's okay. Bump the mic. Yeah. Uh, There's a medium level where I think it is healthy. It's just it's a good good healthy place to be where you're not doubting everything you're doing or comparing yourself and feeling bad about yourself. Yeah, you're, no, you're, I, I feel like I can do that, and yep. I feel pretty good about where I'm at and it, today. And it's interesting on. too. I, I I was thinking about it in your context as you were sharing. Were you a uh, Were you a class official? What does that even mean? 
Like and a that, class president? Yeah, kind of? yeah. Like a, we didn't do that. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was thinking about but, Oh, yes, I definitely would have been. No, yeah, yeah I had no doubt. I mean, with five people, why wouldn't you be at least an officer? You know, if you think okay. of it. <laughs> There's four positions and exactly. five people. <laughs> Come on now. And somebody doesn't want to be one. So, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, we I, didn't do that. I can stuff. remember. It was funny because I, uh, I did run for class president. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I came in second. Oh, so like you say, I can remember that disappointment that yeah. went along with it. But, you know, at the same time, why'd I, you let him beat you? Well, or I was she? I was OK with it because I didn't want to have to organize all the class reunions yeah. for the rest of my That's life true. either. You know, I I remember oh, yeah. I can remember thinking about it. It's like there is a there is a, a you know, a, a pro to this An upside not yeah. winning. <laughs> and, you know, and I I felt I can honestly say I felt, uh, you know, because I wasn't I didn't come in last. Right. You know, and the people I, I shouldn't say, you know, I knew the people that counted the votes. So I even knew what that spread was, mm. you know, as far as it's like, well, yeah, was I was cool. It was four count. It was four votes. Okay. So yeah, I, I was, I will, oh, I graduated with 184 people. Okay. So sure. like you say, I mean, I don't know whether everybody close. voted, Yeah. but yeah. And there, there was probably four How people. How much campaigning did you do? None. So with no yeah. campaign, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but not it. Not you know. It's like once the names were out there, you yeah. know, that was pretty much all. You, your, I would say your lifestyle was more your campaign. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, and I, I guess that's my point. Your lifestyle was conducive to getting within four points of class president. Yeah. So. And I would say the other four were a little more on the party end of things. Okay, you know, gotcha. the, yep, you yep, know yep, yep. people that I wouldn't have necessarily, yeah. you know, that it just was a, a little edge. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's funny. But yeah, no, no, but that it was, th- I was thinking about it from that context of how, you know, things that are important and may not be important and how important God is in those things, you know, yeah. as far as seeing them up from a balanced yeah. perspective. Well, so I, I feel like, yeah. Uh, the the one we talked about pride was a really good one where we talked about mm. you can't separate you know self confidence all those things from from God if you do it's confidence in yourself and what's that worth yes, right so I hear we you. talked about God confidence mm-hmm. and so I don't want to go this whole conversation without bringing that into it because I definitely feel like if I had the right relationship with God and I actually knew him for who he was versus who I was taught that he was, which was basically someone keeping score. Ah, right? sure. If I would have known that he loved me intrinsically mm. and that he wasn't keeping score and that he was for me, not against me, and that he wasn't waiting for me to mess up and therefore punishment, you know, mm-hmm. I think it would have drastically changed. I know it would have drastically changed things. And I would have, mm. all of this talk about confidence and where it came from, if I had the right view of God, I feel like it would have aligned properly. And I think that's really what we should all be shooting for, not like healthy relationships with mentors or whatever. That's not mm. the first thing. I feel like if you can get your relationship with God right, you can be okay in any environment. That's what Paul talked about. Mm. You know what I mean? Of No matter what you're going through, you have this, you know, relationship with God that um, can carry you through it. Mm. I, I didn't have that that kind of friendship relationship with him, that trust, that Mm. father, loving father. Mm. It was more of the strict and father who wants the best for you and therefore will punish you and therefore will, you know, all the, so it's Mm -hmm. not like I thought he hated me or anything. It just didn't feel like the warmth that I feel now. It was almost to the point he was noticing all the wrongs. Right. Keeping score. Along with everyone, including myself. Like I just felt like that's how, and, you know, again, my parents did a lot of things right, but one thing they struggled with was praise, and one mm. thing they, they struggled with was criticism, and I've talked about how I've adopted some of those things, and mm. I try and work on that with my own kids. But, so, you know, it's kind of inner critic was adopted from, you know, mm. the theology and from my parents, and, you know, um, yeah. To, but, but anyway, all, all that to say, like, thinking about you know, you get in second place in the class president situation. Was that a disappointment for you? Did you feel less than because of that? I I would less than's a little too strong. Yeah. I was disappointed. Yeah. And yet at the same time, it was very momentary. It was just, okay. yeah. yeah. Cause I mean, I think, yeah, I, I was trying to think, 
I just, it, there was, it was funny cause there was a number of things I miss. I just missed prom court. I was an alternate for prom court. So like you say, that was a just miss and I was okay. But yet I made homecoming, hmm. you know, as far as those different events that you, you look at. So it's, it's funny, you know, and I don't even, I can't even remember who was, uh, who was voted, uh, homecoming king. I'd have to look at a yearbook, but still, you know, it's just, it's funny thinking about that. Cause it did seem like in that process, I was typically, you know, just, yeah, just off. And then, yeah. and, it, but I guess I still, I, yeah, it was disappointing in the moment, but it wasn't like it made or break, you know, I just, it's See, like, that's where, so that, what you're describing right there feels healthy to me. Like I gotcha. an adequate amount of disappointment. Like, mm. of course you want the thing, it doesn't happen. So you're disappointed, but then sure. you're able to move on. I feel like there's an intrinsic sense of, you know, liking yourself that says, I'm okay with that because I'm yeah. still me. And an intrinsic sense of, I thought I would win. That's a self-confidence, but I didn't. Mm. And it's probably because I don't party all the time. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> that confidence that says, you know, if, I bet I could have won, you know, you. but not like tipping over into, you know. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to go after anybody when I was second alternate for prom court, you know, to get yeah. that, that one spot, right, you right, know, right. No, like you say, right. it was, and I, I was, so I mean, no campaigning and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I see where you're coming and from. And those things come, I feel like both, uh, I feel like self esteem. Okay. Here's another difference maybe in my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like self esteem comes from past um, esteemable effort. Mm -hmm. I feel like self confidence comes from past um, accomplishment and or um, and or mm -hmm. speaking into someone speaking into it, you know speaking that into you. Yeah, because um, I think that can happen too, where you can gain a sense of self confidence without having achieved. Mm -hmm. But someone can say, but you absolutely can achieve that. All you have to do is try and use yeah. what God gave you, which is more than enough. And I feel like you, those conversations can give you some self-confidence or the mm -hmm. accomplishment can. Like, well, I I did it in the past. I bet I could sink this free throw again. You know yeah. what I mean? Kind of thing. And it's funny as you're, as you're, as you're explaining or talking about, you know, I think about a lot of the, the kids that I'll work with, because that's what parents sometimes will, you know, address or, you know, I'll work with kids that have an anxiety of sorts, you know, and it is a matter of, um, of, you know, seeking to build yeah, or create a level of self-esteem, you know, mm -hmm. and creating that, yes, I can. And therefore I'm mm -hmm. going to try, mm -hmm. you know, that becomes the self-confidence mm -hmm. and, you know, and I have this ability to interact with people, mm -hmm. you know, stranger, new people don't have to, you know, intimidate me mm -hmm. because I'm able to realize, okay, yeah, they're good at some mm -hmm. things, but I'm also good at other things, Yeah, you know, like you had shared early on, you know, that ability to see the wholeness hmm. of people, I, yeah. th I think helps that process. Cause I think so often we do tend to, you know, see ourselves from only the position on the basketball court, you know, only from a, from a, a facet kind of like, as yeah. we talk about how we see it, you know, yeah. it's so often we look at ourselves from a single facet yeah. and say, well, I'm not, yeah. you know, and that's all the, that the unhealthy um, inclination, right? Is no, to, yeah. to limit yes. all of our view of ourselves through this one yes. facet of the lens, exactly. and that that was very much what I struggled with. So mm. in the, the days, you know, we would accomplish it, or something good would happen, and then I would feel on top of the world. Sure, but you know that's so short lived because there's more failures in life than successes. It's, eh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it depends on how you view it, right? No, like, I, hear you. I would say it's one what thing, you remember, yeah. Well, Brian. one of the things that I've grown in just leaps and bounds, all right? I, I would say for the most part, I'm healthy at this point. I got gotcha. <laughs> you for yeah, the yeah. most part. I still yeah. struggle with something, but like a lot of things that would be considered a loss, I don't consider it that way anymore. I look mm. at it through the lens of what did I learn, and it's only a failure if you don't learn from it, you sure. know. That's like something that I've certainly adopted, and I still again struggle with some things but it's not mm. 
to that degree. So like that perspective turns all, you know, so many losses into wins. Mm -hmm. And so you can say, I win more than I lose because even in your lose losses, you're winning, right? Um, Sure. That's not the perspective I had in high school. Every, Mm -hmm. everything that wasn't a straight up victory was a loss. Right, so if I wasn't at the top, I was at the bottom. Wow, and that it was very polarized in my v- viewpoint of that. Mm-hmm. So, like, even when you were talking about losing, getting second place, that disappointment that would have been just a devastating loss to me. If I, mm. you know what I mean, like, no, I hear you. I wouldn't have been able to be shake it off. It would have, you know, and yeah. and I can say that <laughs> I know that's true because I'm not uh, laughing at you, by the way. I just no, nah, yeah. yeah. Tell me your thoughts, uh, but I was gonna say we lost a basketball tournament. We were supposed, you know, we we got second place, okay. Which you know, oh, yeah. that was pretty good. Yeah, I hated myself for a week. Wow, for that. That was in wives, didn't you share that in wives? Probably, too, yeah. You, you had the yeah. breakdown in the locker room. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it was that tournament. Yeah. I think they were all. It was all tight. Yeah, it was like our our home hosted yeah. tournament, and you know, I just I wanted to win it, and wow. we did not, and yeah, huh. just devastated. So, like, that's what I mean. Like, second place mm-hmm. is still, you know, the, yeah. the, the, there's a one winner, and then right after that <laughs> is second place. That's pretty good, you know? Yeah. The same with, like, the like you were saying about the uh, class president. It's like, sure. you're all the way up here, minus one, and yep. that person had maybe some things that... Yep. Anyway. Yeah. What were you laughing at? Oh, uh, no, I, it, was, it was funny you were talking about, you know, winning and, you know, the, the, we had a joke, you know, our kids went to South, of course, you know, and so the, the joke was, you know, if, if losing builds character, you know, <laughs> our kids learned a lot of that character. That explains why they have yeah. so much character. Is that what <laughs> we just talked about that, you know, it's like, yeah, you can, you can, you can learn a lot from losing. It's like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so that was, that's sometimes a, a little family joke there. It's like, yeah, you sure can, but yeah. boy, you can get tired of it too. You can, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, it was just, that was what I was laughing. I wasn't laughing at you. They didn't <laughs> want you to think I was. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, earlier I was thinking about, when, uh, the difference between self-confidence and self-esteem again another mm. thing that came to my mind is my two daughters mm. so I feel like Mia has some self-confidence okay. um, and she's able to get up on stage and sing and do that without any she has no anxiety about it mm-hmm. and she'll step on any stage you want her to go and cool. do whatever you need her to do you know mm-hmm. and a lot of that is just because she's been doing that she, since she was little mm-hmm. um, and she's been getting praise since she was little about it. And like, it's just like this inner confidence that mm. at this point, she doesn't have to think about that confidence. It's just there. I'll get up on that stage and I'll do it again. You know? Sure. And I think about it. doesn't matter how many people are there. Right. I'm just going up, singing right. my songs it's and doing my thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And she, you know, she started in Treehouse. Sure. She would be up on that little stage singing or dancing and, mm-hmm. you know, and like, um, Hmm. Yeah, and it's just it's perfectly comfortable for her. She's very confident. But there's other things she doesn't have that same level of self confidence. Um, hmm. And I think about Jewel, who's stage averse. Like she doesn't care about attention. Hmm. We try and get her to um, do different things. Like we really wanted her to be part of the family band. <laughs> and she's just like, I don't, I don't Is she still really doing need drums? that. Is she doing she, drums? No. Okay. No, she doesn't want to do drums. Um, okay. We really want her to do I bet. I and bet. she's good at it. But nice. she just doesn't see the need. Okay. Because she likes who she is just fine without that mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have this inner sense of, I need to do X, Y, or Z. It's just, she likes just doing what she does and being who she is. And cool. she has this inner sense. Again, that's what I would kind of see in the self-esteem category yep. where... I don't need those things to feel okay about mm-hmm. myself because I, I'm i just fine. And she does a lot of art. She's very artsy. Mm. And we definitely, you know, praise her a ton about it. But, like, she doesn't need that to be seen no, by yeah. everyone. Like, yeah. she just likes to do it, you know? Yeah. And she enjoys it. Yeah. So I feel mm. like both my two daughters represent Mia, I think, represents in like a a supernatural level of self-confidence mm. in some in some areas and mm-hmm. me jewel even to me re, to, again based on my upbringing represents a supernatural amount mm. of self-esteem um but the, i see them as two different you know yeah, what i mean no doubt yeah 
That's cool. Yeah. Appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. No doubt. And how, if I may, how does Joseph fall into that? Um, he's definitely more self-confident. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think about the self-esteem thing. I, I think he's a little bit of both, honestly. I got gotcha. you. I wouldn't he's, be surprised. He's, yeah. He doesn't seem to have the need to do anything yeah. to like impress anyone or mm. like achieve. And yet um, he's really good in school. Mm. He's, you know, um, and he, yeah, he like does art too. He does these little okay. comic books and they're Neat. hilarious. He's got a funny sense of humor. He's kind of like right in the middle of those two, I feel like. Oh, wow. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's interesting in that birth order dynamic. Yeah. Oldest, middle, yeah. and youngest, as yeah. we've, you know, discussed your kids. Yeah. yeah. And he's a boy and they're a girl, so that's also interesting to see sure. how things play out in his life versus So his humor is completely different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah. 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 Good question. No. What about your kids? How do you feel like they fall in that continuum? I would dare say... Um, Probably, I would dare say John is probably more of a self-confidence, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, although I see, I see Lizzie is changing, of course. You know, she's been to college, you know, that kind of thing. And I think she has grown in both aspects, you know. Uh, relationship with God as, you know, definitely esteem and... Um, she was sharing, well, I was actually speaking with her yesterday, Chris Fokerloy last week, but it was funny cause she was, uh, she was, a, um, put on a panel, you know, how like, you know, as, as, as freshmen come in, she was on one of those panels that she had been to as a freshman. Nice. So it was funny cause she was, um, for, for health sciences. So you have all these kids that are coming in, you know, to be doctors and, you know, all nurses and all that health mm-hmm. science thing. And it's, you know, and she was telling me, cause she could, from her perspective, she was looking back and saying, okay, what would I have wanted to know when I was sitting in those seats? Mm-hmm. And she said it was funny cause she could hear you know, kind of the elitist, you know, answers that some of her, you know, upperclassmen, you know, senior, you know, were given. It's hard work. You got to do this. You got to get this done. You got to get this done. And it's like, and, you know, Lizzie was basically not that she was being an antagonist, you know, but it's like, well, you're going to, it's going to work. You know, you may not be able to do this, this and this, but it will work out. And where you'll do the things, you'll get the things done that you need to get done. And you may have to, you know, forsake some other things, but it's going to work. And if you need to take a gap year to accomplish what you need to do, that's okay too. And it was funny because she said, you know, there were so many, you know, young girls that just basically almost came up to her in tears saying, oh my goodness. I appreciate you sharing what you shared Mm -hmm. because I'm, I was feel the fact that you were feeling anxious and you recognize that, you know, this stuff worked out, you know, it wasn't you controlling it all. Mm -hmm. It was by God's grace, it worked out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mm -hmm. and she was able to share that. And she's, Mm -hmm. you know, had all these younger freshmen basically saying, can I get your number? Cause you know, if I have a question, can I, she says, sure. You know, it's like, so it was just kind of that neat Mm -hmm. thing, you know, as far as I would call that a a combination Mm -hmm. of esteem and confidence that, Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to work out. And I, and I guess I would just see, I think, I think the military was definitely crucial in John's development of both, but I think it, you know, hmm. I, you see, know, I, I put the military service squarely in that esteemable, uh, kind of side of things to where you would, you, I would say you would earn some self-esteem there. You did, right? but I would also say the confidence that John yeah. had grew. It's like I, yeah. you know, will routinely yeah. say he, uh, he, he grew two inches. Yeah. Oh, after boot camp, just because he stood he, straight, he stood straight. <laughs> yeah, and I think yeah. you know that was a part of it 
to where, and I think it is a, a, a confidence of sorts because it's, uh, and I'll hear it every now and then. I, I endured that, you know, boot camp basically, and the humiliation, the breaking down, I endured that. <laughs> that's, that's cake. Yeah. You know, everything kind of that comparison thing, you know, if I can endure that, yeah. <laughs> going to work, showing up on time, right, right. you know, that's cake. Yeah. You know, get the yeah. hard stuff done. His, you know, the, he's a good one for that motto, you know, do the hard stuff yeah. first. Yeah. And then the rest of the day is easy. Yeah. Go downhill. Yeah. You know, so yeah. like you say, it's kind of interesting to think about that mm-hmm. in a, in a, hmm. and I, and I see him more of course in that, um, Enneagram, he's an eight challenger, you know, to where, you know, it's like that, that takes a level of confidence to be able to say, yeah. no, I don't agree. Yeah. You know, I, it, you can do what you want to, but I'm saying yeah. right here, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. But I, and I, and I see the esteem in it, but yeah, it's yeah. interesting Yeah, consideration. And I think that's what makes the two words, you know kind of funny to discuss it is yeah because yeah. yeah. it is hard to peel them apart because i i often feel like or i feel like a good self-esteem will create a good self-confidence i would agree with you in that that as i as i yeah i'm sorry did i, did nope. I cut you Go off ahead. you started to raise your other hand like you'd well i was gonna say i don't know if i feel the others always true like a good self-confidence mm. will create a good self-esteem because yeah and i think that's might pretty- be based on others words and or your accomplishment if those things go away yes you know what i mean so if you're i feel like self-confidence can create in an unsteady self-esteem sure where a self-esteem can create a more steady self-confidence yeah no i hear where you're coming from if i recognize that i am valuable intrinsically right you know then that that goes a long way Mm -hmm. when the wheels fall off in one area Hmm. You know, like if I go through a bankruptcy or, you know, or, Mm -hmm. you know, my girlfriend breaks up with me or, you know, Mm -hmm. those kind of things, depending on, you know, age, of course, that's where I was trying to go with. I don't have current, I I, I have a girlfriend, but she's also my wife. So I (laughs) (laughs) wanted to kind of walk through that. But yeah, those different life cycle stages that if I'm confident based on that one facet, it can definitely you know, hit my esteem if that facet goes away or changes or something like Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're, if you're trying to build your self-confidence, start with self-esteem. I agree. And by starting with self-esteem, start doing esteemable things. So, you know, a a good example too is like serving, you know, go to a soup kitchen, serve there, you know, go to serve some kids, you know, and, and whether it's at church and youth group or tree yeah. house. And, and that's the other thing too, like seeing the kids who serve. Hmm. I I feel like there's a, a, often a clear distinction. I don't know if chicken or egg, right? Like if they came in with a self-esteem and therefore serve kids or they serve kids and it has created more self-esteem, but I definitely feel like I see connection there a lot of times sure. when, when I see development of kids um, and I see that they are serving hmm. and serving. Oh, I, I mean, the true sense of the word serving, because I definitely feel like uh, there are some roles that are called serving, but maybe are more, you know, spotlightish. I got gotcha. you. Know, I, I yeah. again, I think of Mia. I think Mia has matured enough to where she sees um, being on a stage is serving in a lot of ways because it mm-hmm. is work and, you know, whatever. And there, there's work to be done even to push yourself down so that you can mm. put God in front of you, that kind of thing. And I think she's learning that and she's maturing and all, but I definitely feel like calling, getting on a stage serving for her. Most yeah. of her life was kind of a misnomer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where Joel, yeah. Joel uh, um, goes into the nest and she serves yeah. the, you know, three and four year olds. And to me that I feel like that's, there's some self-esteem there that's yeah. built through that. But also that she had going into it again, chicken and egg, I don't know, but, um, I, again, I feel like that contributes to kind of who they are, or how they are, and it's just yeah. interesting. But anyway, back to the whole thing. Like, if you struggle with that, start doing some things to build mm. that self esteem to make mm. you say, "I feel good about myself because today I serve somebody." Or you mm. know, I think that's a good core. Well, and I think serving other people takes the eyes off us. Yeah, which helps that self esteem too, because mm. it's not like 
Yeah. It's not like I'm the center of my focus. Yeah. And I think to be able to see people who may be, you know, down on their luck, like you say, a soup kitchen or something like that, it helps me, you know, develop a little bit of gratitude. Some perspective. Perspective, yes. On the things that I have, the Mm -hmm. things that I'm able to do, the supports that have been in my life, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think that helps build in that self-esteem type thing to be able to say, yeah, by God's grace, I'm pretty fortunate. And Mm. I've, you know, been fortunate to have people in my life Mm. and I'm definitely not all of that, but I'm okay with who I am. Well, I think part of that is especially a soup kitchen type of idea. Mm. When you do that for real and you're able to have real conversations with the people you're serving, you very quickly recognize the difference between you and them is not some intrinsic goodness. Mm. Very like you said, the supports you had, right? So like I grew up in a good home and I if yep. I were to lose my job today, I'd be in my parents' house, you know, no, or whatever. You. Yeah. Where they didn't have that. And you're able to start seeing like, oh, okay. Yep. You know or 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 just even at times just one circumstance. Right. Yeah. You know, one yeah. thing that was just a little bit different. Yep. And it had uh, a long term implication. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, you know, kind of that, that verse, you know, but by the grace of God, yes. you know, yeah. that one thing mm-hmm. I was spared mm-hmm. and otherwise I'd be just like that person or, mm-hmm. you know, could have been. I think that's a George Whitfield quote. Is it? Or. Well, thank you, George. Yeah. But for the grace of God, there go I, he yes. said when he passed someone yeah, yeah, on the street. Yep. But yeah. So yeah, that's, what are, what are we naming this one? Excuse me. Uh, I'll let you name this one. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. But either way, Probably that's both. how, that's how we see it. Hey, thank you for listening to our podcast. If you like how I see it, please do all the things that podcasts tell you to do. Subscribe, rate, review, follow us, uh, and or talk nicely about us on social media. If you want to reach out, the email is us at howiseeit.click. Yep, I said dot click, as in dot C-L-I-C-K. Please tell your friends about this show, and we'll see you on the next one.